Hello, hello everybody. Uniti Festive is here and the day I've been waiting for and looking at my calendar and checking, tracking is finally here so that I can actually share with you what I'm going to be up to. Um, I am committed to sharing with you everything that I can so that together we can make health part of our lifestyle, um, make it so that Health is not a burden, but a blessing that we get to practice and add into our lives every single day that we get to be alive, that we get to breathe, that we get to stand up from our beds, that we get to move, that we get to connect with our God, our superpowers, our bigger source. And um, I know that, hi, Josefina. Hi, Jessica. How are you? I know that many of you have followed my journey from the beginning till today, and one of my biggest joys comes when I get a message from one of you that says, Unidis, because you started sharing your accountability, I feel like I'm more accountable to my health and my goals, so that keeps me going, and I want to thank you publicly for sharing your story with me and also for allowing me to be a voice in your um, side. Some people also say that they could hear my voice on one side of them telling them, what would we never do here? Um, so I'm going to jump right in because I think it is important for us to know, to know that we're living in different times and I know that stress is high, anxiety is high. I know that for people who are used to being in control and planning for a future, things are kind of like on a standstill. So I want to give you kind of like the way that I have learned to manage this present moment of my life, taking it, hola Ani, como estas? Hola Mary, hola Eddie. Um, taking everything with a grain of salt and trying, trying to loosen up a bit because I think if during this hard time, we don't learn the lessons that we're getting taught, then we're never gonna grow out of the same situation. And for one way or another, we'll find ourselves back in there. So one of the ways that I like to do is I like to release control from the things that are outside of my control. Um, we are in an election year, so there's a lot of things up in the air. There's a lot of things out of our control. I don't control the politics and I don't want to be a politician. So I, I release every time my mind goes there, I begin to get worried, anxious, upset. My, my, my blood pressure rises. I move away from that because I can't control the outcome. I can only control my decisions. Um, remote learning, my two, my two kids are home. Um, I, my husband and I decided to keep them at home and do full remote learning for their safety, for their health, and because we feel that that's our best decision for our family. Putting the blinders on and doing what's right for us is releasing control over the opinions of others and what others may do to react towards them. So focus in on what works for you in the present moment. It's going to be different for everyone. My husband and I are grateful that I can stay home and be their teacher. Like today I had my daughter's IEP meeting and the teacher is speaking to me about the modifications and about the manipulatives and about the different resources that I can use to help her meet the goals that are set for her on the IEP. And I'm thinking to myself, well, thank God I have some type of education on, under my belt that I can actually understand what she's speaking to me about and I can actually set this up. Hi, Tia Silvia. And I can set this up as a program, but not everybody is as fortunate, right? Not everybody has the ability to do so. So control what you can and move on from there. But don't overstress, you know, and understand that, as I said to the teacher, are we talking now or are we talking after the quarantine? Because goals change right now. We're not like, I can't put my expectations up high for her to be at her highest potential because right now we have to modify everything. Um, then comes our health and our well-being and our nutrition and our mindset. And it's all over the place. And a lot of people have decided to 
there's two types of people at this moment. There's one person who says, you know what? I can't go to the gym. I don't feel comfortable going to the gym, but I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to cross my hands and not do anything about it. I'm going to actually take this time to work on getting better, right? And they're solution focused. They're looking for ideas and ways, not perfect, but seeking to make progress. Um, and those people are continuously moving forward. I can I count myself as one of those people who is continuously moving forward. Have I um, met the goals I set out for myself? Possibly not. But I, when I look back, I'm further ahead than where I was maybe at the beginning of the year, right? Um, there's this other group of people who says, it's too hard to try to add anything on to my day. So I'm just going to wait until things get better so that I can incorporate myself back into the plan. And in that process, there's a big burden that comes in and you feel heavy, a heavy load because now you are feeling like instead of making progress, you're moving backwards and you're feeling stuck. And then that brings in the whole idea of feeling like you should be able to do more, but then you're stuck because you don't know what to do. So maybe that's where I come in. And I am a coach, so I'm a wellness coach, and I help people virtually. So we could live, in, you could live in Puerto Rico, Canada, the United States, you could live next door to me, but we work um, on your specific goals on a virtual level. I hold you accountable to whatever goals you set for yourself, and then we work together a plan that fits your needs. It will include fitness, if you want the fitness part of it, it will include nutrition, it will include mindset, but most importantly, it will include community. Um, I'm going to share with you what I'm going to be doing as of next Monday, and you can decide if this is something that is for you or you want to speak to me further so that we can figure out what is it that you are looking for so that I can help match your goals with a plan that will work for your needs at this present moment. But knowing that, um, I have the tools that can help you with your nutrition, with your fitness, with your mindset, and with community. Um, so if those things are the places in which you're looking for help, then don't feel afraid to message me and reach out. As of Monday the 19th, we're going to become incorporating a breakaway challenge. So for those of you who follow me, breakaway is a program that our company has released is the first time ever that it is doing a combined program of running with resistance training and I just got my package <laughs> so the first thing that I'm going to share with you is I am not a runner I used to run I remember running when a dog was ch chasing me when I was a young little girl and I run Maybe after my kids, I run if somebody's chasing me, but as like a run, never, you would never see me. But I'm open to trying things that are different, things that are gonna make me step out of my comfort zone. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. And this is the calendar. Um, it basically is different. So you have an advanced one, you have a basic one, and then you have a time crunch one. So there's three different calendars to follow. You don't have to know anything about it. All you have to do is literally press play and cross off when you're done. It comes in three languages, English and Spanish and French. Um, the trainer, Ivalis, you may be familiar with her. She's our only Spanish-speaking trainer of the company, and she's also the creator of Mes de Mas. Um, I love her because she's direct, she's to the point, and she's results-oriented, like all of our fitness trainers are. Um, with our program, you will receive a nutrition guide that is going to be in two forms. So you'll get the basic understanding of our nutrition, but you'll also get access for the 30 days on our main two nutrition programs, which are To Be Mindset and the Ultimate Portion Fix. And you'll be using these color-coded containers to measure your foods if you want the more structured format of your meals, or if you want to help yourself feel full and satisfied and heal your emotional eating as, um, issues, then you can follow the To Be Mindset. 
Um, I ordered my, um, ¿cómo se llama esto? My foam roller because I've been reading into it and the runners, avid runners say that foam rolling is, in, is very important during the program because you need to release the tension that is formed in the muscles, especially in your hamstrings, so that you can improve in, in speed and in mobility. As you know, as you can tell, I'm learning with you. Um, and that's the good thing about it. You're not going to need to be an expert because you are guided by the experts. The program comes with a running belt that you get to use um, and it, you add everything you need inside of it and it'll be part of the program. So wherever you go, you can take your running belt with you. It'll also have resistance belt and this one comes there's three different levels for beginners, medium, and the heavier ones. Um, you get to choose when you're just selecting the packets um, whether you want what we call the performance pack. And basically this includes the muscle recovery with the energy and endurance powder that you see me drink every single day um, because we all need a little bit of energy to keep going. Or you can select the one that comes with the superfood. Or you can put them all together and get the deluxe package that comes with everything all together. Um, everything I shared with you at once. So, what's in it for you if you decide to join? Decide, well, basically, <laughs> you're going to move out of your comfort zone. I invite you to do what I'm going to be doing which is doing something that I've never done before. I'm um, an avid at-home workout person. I have lost 50 pounds from working out from home. I'm doing most of like resistance, cardio, and body weight programs. This will be my first time doing a running program, but um, I would, I'm looking forward to the consistency of getting a coach in my ear, because Idalis will be walking us through the program for 30 days and she's going to let us know when to speed up, when to slow down and then the motivation that she provides. I love listening to her in Spanish. Um, I find that it's because, I don't know, it's my native language, it's her native language. We have a different connection and it's just powerful. But she's also speaking in, in English and there's also dubbed in French. Um, and who is it for? So right now we have it available for VIPs. What does that mean? If you're a very important person, then it is for you. You are welcome to participate. All that means is you're going to get a 25% discount on the program. And in addition to that, you get added into the group that is led by Idalis herself. And you get to ask her questions, learn from the other members of the community who are doing the same workout like you will be doing too. Um, and it brings in, if you want accountability to the next degree. So I know that a lot of us start something and on week two, we drop the ball and it just collects dust. Um, this time around, you're going to have a coach, which is me. I will be checking in on you. I will be holding you accountable to the goals you set out for yourself. So I will add you into my private group right here, either on Facebook or on my other app. Um, and together, we're going to work towards meeting that goal. We'll troubleshoot. Um, we'll come up with a schedule, we'll decide on what is the meal plan that works for you, and then I will help you also with new recipes and mindset tips that you will need throughout the process because that's when things get iffy, right? Um, who is it for? If you're looking for something to focus on, you want to have something to look forward to because right now we don't, I'm not planning for any weddings, I'm not planning for any um, vacations, I have my leadership retreat coming up, I'm waiting to get confirmation if I need to travel or not, but I'm waiting on that. But I don't have anything specific that I'm preparing for, right? I know that the holidays will be here and my goal is always to be under or at my goal weight so that I can have a little bit of fun during the holidays. Um, I definitely want to continue to sh shape up, to continue to move my body because movement brings healing and it also reduces stress. For those of us who are older in age, um, above the 40s, 
if you combine weight resistance with a run, you're actually adding health to your bones. So you're decreasing the opportunities of osteoporosis or you're also reducing stress and anxiety because you're getting the endorphins that your body needs and you're reducing the cortisol levels, which are hormones that are produced by stress. Um, you're also going to get fat burning so you're going to produce a fat burning machine so you're not long no longer just sitting idle it's 30 minutes approximately 20 minutes of a run 20 minutes of a weight lifting on certain days and you're not going to be just sitting around the house you're going to be doing movements that are intentional to bring results and to be honest with you this will get your bad shape bad habits out of whack because now you're gonna be focusing on getting healthier and doing things that move you into becoming better. Um, you're gonna drink more water because when you move your body, you get thirsty. You're going to be more motivated to eat healthy and you're gonna try different foods. Um, one of the testimonies that I have from one of my clients is, she says she feels like she's traveling to a different country now because every time we post a recipe, she writes it down so that she can try that next week. And that is an open and a growth mindset because she's not stuck on just doing the things that she's always done. She's open and willing to doing things that are different. And she's actually enjoying the process because she's losing the weight, she's feeling better than ever, and, and people are gaining confidence. Um, I know that one of the things that I do as a coach is I require my clients to send me a before picture and usually when they send their before pictures they take their selfies so that i don't see their face um they take the picture and they're embarrassed to share it in the group so they send it to me through email but then when i ask for the after when they're at the end of their journey and they're now going to compare their before with their after the selfie is taken where they you could see their full face you can now see a change in the clothes that they're wearing um, they're posing with more confidence and they actually put it inside of the support group without me even asking them. So that to me proves that change happens when we step out of our comfort zone and we put in the work. Um, this morning I shared uh, the transformation of one of our members of the community who was over 200 pounds and her goal is She's almost gonna be, she's already lost, I believe is 95 pounds. She's, she shared her story in one of our Saturday Fit Clubs. Um, and today she celebrates being at 193. Her goal for the month of October is to get out of the 190s. Every month she sets herself up with a goal and she focuses on it, one pound at a time. Not that she's gonna lose the 100 pounds in one drop, she's gonna do that one step at a time. And what am I here to share with you is that. I know that a lot is happening. We have a lot on our plate, but we cannot chew an elephant at one bite. We have to take it piece by piece. And sometimes it starts with setting the goal that you're going to increase your water intake. Sometimes it means you're going to add 30 minute walk into your life. Sometimes it means you're going to add a new vegetable into your agenda. Um, whatever that is for you, don't overlook it don't ignore it because if it's screaming at you it means it wants you to pay attention and that's why i named this live fall back into love with you nobody's gonna do it for you nobody's gonna say you know what Onidis? i think it's time for you to focus more on what you need because everybody wants a piece of you but how about you decide that you're gonna give yourself a little bit of time so that you can actually be more productive, be more loving, be more patient, be more kind, be more confident, be happier when you're with others because you've already filled your cup first. And I'll leave you with that because one thing that I have committed to for the end of this year is I am devoting myself to not only worrying about my physical self, but also feeding into my spiritual self because I don't wanna be depleted. I wanna be able to be strong. And when we are dealing with anxiety and stress is because we are addicted to control and we are addicted to thoughts. And when we are addicted to our control, personal human level, 
we're going to be led into anxiety because we need to learn to let God do the work. We are not him. We didn't create the world. He did. So if we are in a moment in time where he is setting us up, he knows that we were created for a time such as this. And in the devotional that we have committed to as a team yesterday, it stopped me in my tracks. And I'm going to stop and read it to you. And I'll leave you with that. It's from the book, Believe Bigger, 100 Days. And it says, for we are Christ's workmanship created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which he prepared in advance for us to do. Therefore, he already knows what we have inside so that we can actually be successful in a time like this. Um, when you think about the workmanship, it means that you are custom made. You're not made by accident. It's not by chance that you're here. It's not by chance that you're assigned to the situation that you are in right now. It is purpose driven. It is for a reason. Um, and you were tailor made. You were one of a kind. You don't have to look to the side and be like, I should go more towards that angle because she looks like she's being successful. That's why I'm asking for you to fall back into love with yourself because that's where you're going to find your answers. Um, no one has your God-given fingerprint. You're unique. You're a masterpiece. Nothing is broken in you. Nothing is missing in you. It's inside of you. We just have to polish it and learn to bring that out with confidence because a lot of the stressors of life are covering the goodness and the brightness that is inside of you. And this part, really, I loved it. It says, and God doesn't repeat himself. He made you because you are a unique expression of his DNA. Hmm. Um, and the world needs exactly what you have, what you have in your mind, the gifts that he has honored you with, and your personality. Part of the purpose is discovering that and embracing who you are and walking in confidence, knowing that what you have is exactly what the world needs. So do what you can to share that with the world, not to cover it up. And most of the times, if we're fe feeling sluggish, if we're feeling angry, if we're feeling frustrated, stressed, or and, and tired, we're not giving that to others. We're giving them la sobra. And God didn't create you for that. And it comes with a devotional. Um, I went out and I, I literally have to take my time and devote it. But um, it says, Lord, give me eyes to see me, to see me the way you see me. I am your custom craftsmanship. Thank you for making me unique, magnetic, and necessary. Help me to own my significance and magnificence. You're not alone. You're not here by mistake. You're here for a purpose. Don't hide from it. Instead, ask, how can I embrace the goodness that's inside of me so that I can help flourish it in a better way. And it all starts with honoring who you are and the temple that you live in. We only have one life. We only, have, we only get one chance at doing this. Everything else is not really going to matter. But what you do with the time you are given is really going to make your time here worthwhile. I pray that this message gets to fruitful soil and that it bears fruit in due time, not in my timing, you know, in his own, and that we can connect soon and celebrate your success and that you made a decision to fall back in love with yourself and to make the changes necessary that are going to add into your life and not take away. Send this message to someone who came to mind and that you feel also needs to hear it. And together, we are better but we have to be united and one in one spirit. I love you all and I thank you for your attention and for your time. I look forward to working with you. <laughs> Bye.